Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can create custom tabs in Microsoft Teams. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. In Microsoft Teams, you can create tabs in every channel of your team, extending teams on your need and increasing the collaboration with your colleagues. For example, you can have as a tab Power BI, Stream, OneNote, Excel, PowerPoint and many other applications available in the Teams store. You know that you can have your own application available as a tab in Teams. This is very great. So you can have your user interface, your business logic contained in a tab in Microsoft Teams. This is pretty powerful. You can develop, for example, a solution with SharePoint framework and have this application available as a tab in your, in your channel. We will explore also the policies in the Teams Admin Center, which allow you to release your application as a tab to few people or to the entire organization. But let's check it out together. Here I am on my PC. First off, we have to make sure that the machine, your machine, is properly configured to get started with SharePoint framework because uh, this is exactly the framework that we will use for this demo in order to have a custom app contained in a Microsoft Teams tab. Of course, you need to have a Microsoft 365 tenant then I recommend you to jump in this URL, opening uh, your browser. There is this documentation where you can find uh, uh, very important documentation that information that allows you to make sure that your machine is configured and ready to get started with SPFX. You need to follow some steps. You have to install Node.js 10 then you need to have a code editor. You can use Visual Studio Code, Atom or WebStorm. It's up to you. For this demo, I will use Visual Studio Code. Then you have to install Gulp and Human Generator. You can run this one single command and all tool chain will be available in, uh, in some minutes. And finally, you need to run this last command, which is gulp trust dev cert. This is very useful. We'll install a certificate on your machine. And this will be very helpful in order to debug the solution locally. OK, let's start now by opening a, a command line tool that I have already opened here. This is Windows Terminal. Then you have to, to go on the right path where you want to install and generate the, the solution from scratch. Let's type now IO at Microsoft SharePoint and then enter. This will invoke the Yeoman generator and you will uh, see some questions here, for example, what is the name of the solution? You can type in custom tab, for example. Then you have to decide if you want to create a subfolder with the solution name. I I'm, I'm always select this option because um, create well-structured folders, in my opinion. Then you have an important question. You have to decide if you want to make this available tenant-wide for all users in your organization? Yes. And then another important question is if this, uh, this solution should consume unique web API and, and not share it with other components in the tenant. In my case, no. And finally, you have to, to decide if you want to have a web part, an extension, or a library. In this case, our goal is to create a Teams tab. Then we have to select web part. Then again, you have to 
decide the, the name of your solution, custom tab again, and finally, there is already one because I, I just created, I already created the solution before because I want to save, save your time. Then uh, last question is the description. You have to do, provide a description of this SPFX solution. So now I will exit from this tutorial because as I said, I already generated the solution some minutes before and um, I, can, I can start from here. So let's run into the making an overview of this of this solution we have here uh, a very important file which is the web part manifest and remember these two properties id and alias we will see later so now i would say we can uh, follow a first approach to deploy this this solution i'm opening again the command line tool and i will type in gulp clean this will clean um, i have to jump of course on the right path custom tab and then again gulp clean i want to clean the solution from previous build okay so now i can generate the bundle of the solution and then the app package that I have to upload in the SharePoint app catalog. Gulp bundle, then ship. If you are ready to go on production, this will generate the bundle of the solution. Basically, will create JavaScript and CSS files. And then I can run Gulp package solution always with the flag ship because I'm I am want to to deploy on production and now I have this this file generated under the folder SharePoint solution so this is very important is the the app package of this of solution and you need to to work with it because you have to upload it in the SharePoint app catalog so opening now the the folder of this solution i can see this uh, this file and what i can do i can open my browser i can open the sharepoint app catalog that it's already already opened let me make a, a refresh then i can drag and drop this solution here now if you remember the question the one of the first question is was the if I want to make available this solution talent-wide in the entire organization. If you respond with yes, you will have this checkbox when you upload this app, this app package. Then I will deploy and now this application will be available to the entire organization. Now, if I select this solution and if i click on tabs i have this nice option sync to teams if i click this the solution will be synchronized from the app catalog directly into teams i'll show you now opening teams here that we have this new application available using the web app version if i open now apps i will have this custom tab solution that i just deployed i have this the as publisher spfx plus teams dev because i follow it, this kind of approach so if i click on this uh, on this tab i can decide to to deploy and install this application as a tab in uh, in the in some channel for example in the channel of the of this team or this other i can just select this one set up as tab so then i can decide if post to the channel about this tab 
I don't want to do it. I will save. And when you open this the first time, you will have the property panel that show up and you can configure properly this, this web part. When you have done that, you can close this panel and after some seconds you will have this uh, flash uh, effect. This means that when I click on another tab and I jump again into this, this tab, the property panel will show up not again because I already configured my, my web part, but if I need to set or fix some configuration, I can click again on settings and I have the property panel again available. I want to call out an important configuration that you have to perform before to generate the bundle and the app package in the web part manifest. If I jump in the solution, you will find this property supported hosts. And I have done this configuration before to generate the bundle and the app package. As you can see, we have these two properties, SharePoint web part and Teams tab. Teams tab, it's very important. If your goal is to have this solution available as Teams tab, this other property target SharePoint, so you can have this solution as a web part. You can also delete this property and you can have just uh, this um, SPFX solution available as a tab. And that's it. Other option are here, so you can uh, have a Teams personal app or a SharePoint full page. But for this, for this demo, we will talk about only Teams tab. That was the first approach to deploy the solution. I'll show you now a second approach, which is my favorite. So before to generate again uh, the solution and deploy the solution manually on, the, on Teams, I will remove this tab and then I will remove the solution also in the SharePoint app catalog. Okay, I can remove now the tab and this is removed. Now jump in the app catalog, selecting the solution. I can click on three dots and delete this SPFX solution. If I jump in Teams and if you click on build for your tenant name, you can remove from here also from Teams this, uh, this application. So delete app and the app is gone also from Teams. Following a second approach now, we can create an app package manually, an app manifest, and we will deploy this, this manifest in, uh, in Teams. You can also remove this one because we will define every important information about this this SPFX solution in the Teams manifest. Let me save this file. Now going on the documentation again, I have here this other URL. I recommend you to, to read this one if you want to follow this second approach. What we will do now is to copy this JSON snippet and we will create a manifest file. So we can start from this from this manifest. Okay, so opening again the, the solution in the folder teams, I want to create this manifest.json file. This is a way that you have. Now, if you remember at the beginning, I mentioned about this uh, web manifest and uh, I talked about the ID and the alias. So you have to reuse these two properties in the manifest. So the alias will be the, this property here, the package name, and then the ID, very important, is this one that we have to use in the manifest 
so where you see this we have to replace this name with this ID okay now is replaced also in uh, some some URL we have this important URL configuration URL and here we have the ID of this web part okay another important mention about this JSON file is um, this attribute static tabs and configurable configurable tabs when you want to to have a personal teams app you need to use this property but when you want to deploy um, an SPFX solution in a teams tab you have to use this other attribute so I deleted the first one and we will keep this this other one this other uh, value are important in order to perform the authentication and to work with the context of the user which is already logged in in uh, Microsoft Teams okay so theoretically we are good to go with this file we have just to fix some some value what I can do is using and opening this application if you don't have I recommend you to search this application which is free in the team store once you have installed you can open it and you can start opening this tab manifest editor you will have the ability to to create the, the manifest of an SPFX solution or other web application then you have also the option to validate the manifest if it's correct and you can use it if you want to publish your application on the Teams store then there is a, a fancy feature here which is the card editor you can uh, create adaptive card this, this uh, tab helps you a lot the, during the creation of this adaptive card and finally you have the control library if you want to reuse some uh, component of Microsoft Teams in your web application here you have a, a well done uh, explanation how to do it and then you have the classic about Pivo about this, this application okay now opening the manifest editor I will click on import an existing tab I will jump in Goom custom let me go on top yeah then teams and finally we will open this JSON file okay as you can see we have some information already fixed before like the app id and the package name then we have some other uh, property to to fix so we have the spfx component name we can call it custom tab this will appear by default in the in the tab so here you can provide custom uh, created across SPFX then then you can define also the the app version 1.0 some description around your uh, your solution I will keep it in this way so here we have to provide another zero so the developer the company name this will appear um, near to the app name the website of this application this is very important I can show you in this about of this application this about Pivo so you have also for your solution this three link website privacy policy and terms of use you have to define a URL for these three links and this is very important because you can use them to 
provide additional information to the end user for example what is uh, this application why the user uh, should use this application what this application does and then other information around the, the privacy and the terms of use so going again on the manifest editor and opening our manifest we have all information that for me are good to go it's not important now to have the, the right url this is just to 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 give you an overview what you can do with this manifest then you can also upload your custom icon the full color and the transparent outline with um, fixed sides and then the as accent color that you that you can you can define okay that's it the last one is the capability um, in the tabs you have to decide if you want to have this application as a team tab or as a personal tab we already configured this section so we can uh, we can skip this section and we can uh, now start to use this this manifest let's start to create the zip file now if you scroll down you will see the test and distribute section so if you open this page you can click on download and you will have a zip file ready to go that you can upload on the on the teams app catalog now if i open the download folder where i will find my zip file if i open we will see that we have this exactly these three files we will have the two icons and the manifest json file it's important that in this zip file you have a flat situation where you don't have folders nested between them because if you you if you have this kind of folder structure you will have issues in the team sub catalog so you need to have a flat situation first level with all three files here okay now i can close and i will open the teams admin portal you can expand the teams app section and if you click on manage app you will you will find this this app i will remove this application now because this is a previous version of the application that i deployed okay we are now ready to upload the manifest I'm going on custom it was under downloads custom tab open and now this application is is installed in teams we have custom tab the name that we defined i as you can see i missed it on and i for, forgot to to define the, the description for this application so we have this uh, this uh, this name okay another important thing before to install the the tab this tab in the in microsoft teams is the permission policies so you can decide to restrict the usage of this application only for few people or for all users it's up to you but imagine that you are developing a solution for the hr department normally the hr department works with confidential data they cannot share all information so it makes sense to have an application where only the hr department can have access all you need to do if you have a use case of this of this typology you can create an additional permission policy next to global that you have by default and here you can define what kind of application are available for the users 
that are under this policy. So, for example, in my case, I enabled all apps that are developed and published by Microsoft are available for this policy. And then I can decide to allow specific apps. And here I can pick up my solution, the one that I deployed, allow. And this application is now available for this policy. I can save. And the next task will be to edit or manage users for this policy. I can select now specific users or groups that are allowed to, to, to use the application included in this policy. So I can select, for example, Patti Fernandez and I can add this user to this policy and Patti Fernandez of the HR we will be able to use this Teams tab. Okay, that was important to mention. So now it's time to jump in uh, Microsoft Teams and let's see if this application is available following the second approach and here we go. With the second approach we have the name of the publisher and I can again add this tab in uh, some channel of some teams. I will install this on this channel of the team sales. We have this error now because the app package it's not available in the SharePoint app catalog. In fact, if I jump on the SharePoint app catalog, we see that the SPFX solution is not available here because we deleted before just to show you that we have a second way, a second approach to deploy solution creating manually the app manifest and then uploading it on the Teams app catalog. Okay, so then all we need to do is upload again the app package under custom tab SharePoint solution and then we can upload this SPPKJ file in the SharePoint app catalog. So we can check again, make this solution available to all sites in the organization and deploy. Okay, now again this application is, uh, is available. So theoretically if I close this window if I open again custom tab let me select this team sales general channel set up the tab so the error disappeared I can save now this tab and here we go it works also this second approach additionally you you have the, the name of the publisher, you can define the, the icons. So there are several aspects that for my opinion are better of the, of the first approach by synchronizing the solution from the app catalog directly to the teams. Last thing that I want to mention is about the SPFX solution, how you can uh, write your business logic. If you are a little bit familiar with React, you work with components. This is the, the HTML that it showed up in the, in the web part. And here you have also to implement your, your business logic for your solution. You can decide if use React as a framework or you can select no framework and then you can implement the framework that you that you prefer. You can use Angular, Vue.js, whatever you want. That was a quick tutorial how you can create custom tabs in Microsoft Teams across SharePoint framework. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay in tune with my next videos. 
If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and I'll build my to-do list for next videos. I hope to see you next time.